Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So um, it is back to school season. I'm starting back to school tomorrow. So I thought I would show you an easy, affordable back to school makeup look. So here's my little trusty bag and everything in this bag is affordable and all drugstore. So let's begin. I've already moisturized my face and lips and everything like that. So let's go. I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer, which is Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. And I'm going to take a little bit of this, just a little bit, and put it on my eyelids. Just to have a little base. What I'm using today, makeup uh, eyeshadow palette-wise, is this. And this is the Makeup Revolution. These are the colours. I picked, like, the neutral palette. Second colour here in the palette. It's back to school, so I don't want anything too fancy or too out there. I just want something simple, quick and easy. This colour here, which is down here, it's like a taupey grey brown colour. And just put it just in the outer section of my eyes. A little bit more. And then I'm going to take this little colour here at the end. It's a beautiful like bronzy colour with a little bit of shimmer on it. There's it there. Right on my lid. Just to add a little bit of sparkle. Because I like a little bit of sparkle. It just shows, a gives a little bit more dimension on my eyes. I'm going in with some eyeliner. And this is by Collection. And this is just the Extreme Bold Eyeliner. It, the nib looks like this, if you can see. It's like... A narrow nib at the top and then like thicker at the bottom. On to eyeliner now. I'm gonna do a quick little wing and just a nice thin little line around the eyes and I'm just adding my other little wing and we are done. Then quickly I'm going to curl my eyelashes so I'm gonna curl them. The same on the side. And then after I curl my eyelashes, I like to take the Maybelline Go Colossal Extreme um, Mascara. This is the wand right here. It's a nice big wand. And that right there is the eyes done. And then I go on to my foundation. I am using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. My fingers and just apply to the points of my face that I need it and I'm just gonna quickly rub it in because let's face it, when I have to get ready for school or work, I sometimes like to sleep in. So I don't really have the time to do it all carefully and neatly. So I just add it and blend with my hands. Concealer again, it's just the same one. And just add two points under my eyes. Okay, so that is that done. I'm then going to set underneath these eyes. The powder I'm going to use is the Bourjois Healthy Healthy Balance Powder. I take it on a small brush and pack that under the eye. Because this would be the only place my makeup would move. I'm also going to just go around my nose just to make sure that it's all set up there and everything. And yeah, that's it. I'm then going to move on to eyebrows. I have here the Tanya Bear the Tanya Burr Cosmetics eyebrow set. So I'm taking in with Hot Cocoa, which is the deepest shade. And I'm just gonna go, go for it. I don't do it real neatly. I just wing it. Just sort of wing it. To get to the inner part of my eyebrow, I mix uh, pebble and hot cocoa together. So I take a little bit of hot cocoa and pebble and put them down together and just place them at the tip of my top of my brow and just flick up 
and then I take on my spoolie and just blend it together. And that's it, basically, that's it there. My eyebrows are two different shapes, but sure, who really cares? Nobody's gonna be like, paying too much attention to my face, I really don't think. And then I like to put a little bit of the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper onto it as well, just to set it all, and then that just like fills any bits that I've missed, and yeah. And it sets them into place, because I like, I have, I would have wondering like eyebrows, they like stick up all over the place. So it sets them and makes them stay down, which I like. I would recommend going in with this with a light hand because if you go in too heavy handed and um, there's big clumps and then it just still smears all over the place. With a little bit of bronzer to bronze up my face, I'm using the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and that's what it looks like there. And it has like a lovely sweet smell, which I like. I'm going in with a Real Techniques brush, swirling it in there, tapping off the excess, and just going onto the high points of my cheeks. just to sort of bronze everything up. Make sure it go down your neck. Around the nose down there. And I then go on with a little bit of number seven blusher and this is in Soft Damson, I'm pretty sure. Yep, this is in Soft Damson. Which, if you guys have been following me for a long, long time, you know I've used this in the past and it's just a lovely color of pink. It's a lovely flush blush color. Okay, so I like to add a little bit of highlighter. I like highlighter. And this is the Makeup Revolution Highlight, highlight Set. I think I'm gonna go in with this color. And just add a little bit there. Not go too dramatic. Just gives me a little bit of color. A little bit of a highlight when the sun hits, if the sun hits, because the sun never hits in this country. And yeah, so that's what I do. And then lastly, last but by no means least, I'm going to take a little bit of Tanya Burr's Cosmetics Picnic in the Park Lip Gloss. And that right there was my affordable back to school everyday quick and easy makeup look. And you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, go follow me on Instagram. My handle's right here. And yeah, also su also subscribe. Like, it's free and it'll make me feel happy. <laughs> and yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.